guys welcome to my channel today I will be sharing five tips on how to succeed in nursing school so if you want to know the five things that I did to help me succeed in nursing school then stay tuned hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel I'd like to say welcome if you haven't already please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you can join my family also hit the notification button so you'll never miss another video from me again and for my return viewers I'd like to say Welcome back. Well, let's get into today's video. I get a lot of questions of people asking me what I did to succeed in nursing school. So I'm going to be sharing the five secret tips that I use to help me succeed in nursing school. So without further ado, let's get started. The number one tip that I would say helped me tremendously to succeed in nursing school is the ability to memorize. You want to memorize the heck out of everything. But when I say memorize, you have to be careful with that. You don't just want to memorize everything and then forget it the day after but memorization is a great way to get through nursing school just because there are so much content coming at you from left to right and it's so fast-paced you have to be able to some way somehow remember all these things in your head so some of the things that I can say that helped me memorize is flashcards flashcards are your best friends write the word on the front and write the definition in the back or write the disease process on the front of the card and write the signs and symptoms on the other side of it I personally love flashcards. It's a great way to test your knowledge without taking the actual exam. Another great way to memorize stuff is to write it down. Some people find it very helpful when they write things down over and over. Study shows that if you write things down over and over, there's a good chance you're going to remember it. Another great way is to also say things repeatedly out loud. For example, if you're talking about diabetes, maybe you can talk about what causes diabetes and you can say it to yourself over and over out loud. So so just to review our number one tip is to memorize it and the three great ways to memorize is to use a flashcard write things down over and over or say it over and over to help you keep the contents in your head so moving on to number two the second great tip that saved my life through nursing school is voice recording now when I say voice recording you want to make sure it's legal in your school and you want to make sure your professor is okay with it and if your professor is okay with it that is a great help so what I did was I bought a voice recorder from Walmart at the time they had it at Walmart and I'm pretty sure they still have it there you can also get it online or you can even use your phone a lot of our phones come with voice recording systems that you can use so during a lecture or a test review or something like that you can still sit there and write notes and you know listen to lecture and stuff but when you have that content recorded you can listen to it on your way to work when you're grocery shopping when you're cleaning up your house when you have your free time it's almost like having your professor with you all day every day and that is the best way to succeed in nursing school but as I said before make sure your professor is okay with you recording their lectures so that is number two moving on to number three the number three advice I can give to anyone is do not study at home studying at home is like setting yourself up for failure because there's the TV your comfortable couch your bedroom the refrigerator sometimes you have on a expected visitors so if you're anything like me I would say studying at home is the worst thing you can do there are many 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 places you can go to study the number one place is the public library you can go to the quiet room and just sit there and study because you know that there is no other distractions around trust me I've tried this one time I had to write a research paper it took me three hours to come up with one page it took me the same three hours to come up with the whole paper proofread it and everything I kid you not even if you don't want to go to the library, there's Panera, there's Barnes and Nobles, there's Starbucks, there's other coffee shops, so many other places that you can go that has free Wi-Fi and a free quiet place to sit and study. So please do not study at home. Unless you live by yourself and you are a disciplined person and you are able to stick with your study promises, then by all means, go ahead and study at home. If you've come this far through the video and you like what you see, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this video. And and hit the subscribe button for more contents like this. Moving on to number four, the fourth thing that helped me pass nursing school was being a part of a study group or having a study buddy. So this is important for a lot of reasons. When you are in a study group, there
there is a level of accountability you guys count on each other to show up when you say you're gonna show up and when you pick a study group make sure it's not a group that just want to meet up and have fun or go get drinks because that is not what you're studying for you're studying for nursing school so make sure you choose people that are focused and have the same goal as you another reason why a study group is important is because everybody has a different perspective of certain concepts you're studying the same contents but if everybody brings their ideas and point of view together it helps you understand the concepts better and another reason that a study group or a study buddy is a great idea is because when you have projects you can do them together it's a great idea if you're going to participate and bring your ideas together to accomplish your project so that is another reason why it's great to have somebody you can count on or a study group that you can count on so we've done four so far we're going to move on to number five the fifth thing that I will say that helped me tremendously is focus now this one might sound silly but you need to focus in nursing school and when I say focus I mean when you go to class put your phone away I'm one of those people that if I take my phone and just check my social media for one minute that one minute turns into one hour next thing you know I'm sitting there flipping and watching funny videos tagging people and just reading comments it's completely ridiculous if you know you're going to class or going to a study session please either put your phone on silent or put it on away completely let your family and your friends know that you're either going to class or going to study because as I always always say all the information in nursing school is important because it builds on each other and when you go to take your NCLEX they're asking you about things you learned from a year or two three years ago these are things that build on each other and you have to be able to remember them so focus is very important so if you've come this far in the video I'd like to say thank you so much and I'd like to give you two more bonus secrets that help me succeed in nursing school so number one is be prepared be prepared for everything and be prepared for anything some things that I used to do to help me get prepared for class or clinical is get your books your pencil your stethoscope your pen light get everything prepared the night before that way you're not gonna get there and try to grab it from out of your bag and notice that it's not even there so get your books ready if you have any homeworks that are due get them ready just make sure that you have everything prepared nursing school is so stressful and there's so so much going on that it's so easy to forget some things if you prepare yourself the night or the day before it helps you stay organized and it kind of takes a lot of that stress and anxiety away the last tip that I'm going to share with you guys is Quizlet oh my god Quizlet was one of my biggest lifesavers in nursing school if you don't know what Quizlet is you can google it many a times when you're reading your textbook something out of the blue pops up and you don't even know what it is or when you type it into Quizlet there's so many different ways there is flashcards there is um, study guides there is all kinds of different ways that you can learn from Quizlet so those are my secrets on how I was able to succeed and pass nursing school I hope Hope you guys find those helpful and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button on this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye